types of dairy cattle. There are five. We have five, but we shall look at the major four. One, we have the Frisian. We have the Frisian. The Jersey. Number three, we have the Ashe. And also the fourth one, we have the Nguansi. These are the four major categories of the dairy cattle breed which we are going to look at. Of this, we shall be at a point to differentiate them either by look of them or else with the milk amount which they are going to produce. For instance, starting with the first one, that is the first, the question, it is the earliest. It is the earliest in your production. But you know the unique fact behind this meal yes it has the large quantity of meal but its meal has less <coughs> butterfat content this meal has less butterfat content <coughs> next we look at the jersey jersey it is the lowest in milk production. Lowest in milk production, but then it milk has a higher the milk from the Vijasi has a higher butterfat content. Therefore, trying to differentiate between fresh and Vijasi in the terms of Milk production, we can say that fresh is the highest in milk production, but it will has low butterfat content, whereas Jersey is the lowest in milk production, but it milks as a higher butterfat content. Again, once you look at the fresh it has black and white patches on its body. So, with respect to the Phenotype appearance, you can differentiate pressure from the other three types of the cattle in, in that the pressure has the black and the white patches on its body. We look at the beef cattle. Beef cattle, we say these are the cattle which are being kept for the production of meat. The beef cattle, we say they are kept for the production of the meat. And then we look at uh, some of the characteristics or else the distinguishing features of this cattle. That is one. Their body is blocked. They have a blocky body. Two, we can say that this they breed regularly. They breed regularly, and also they have the short and strong legs. They have short, strong legs. The reason as to why they have these short and strong legs is for the purpose of supporting their AV <coughs> their AV bodies. We can also say that they are deep well fresh body. They are deep well fresh body and this fresh in them has a lot of fat. Remember as we say the their cattle, their bodies are really because they lack fat which is being used in the synthesis of the milk. In the beef cattle, this is an opposite because the excess feed or else that fat in the body, it is being converted and that's why their bodies are deep and also well fresh. <coughs> Thank you.
Now when we look at the various types or else the examples of this ketone, the various types of the beef ketone bridge. We have a bridge for instance the beef short on we have a bridge by the name beef short on we have the airport we have the airport we also have the abadin others We have the abadin others and we also have the carolites The carolites These are some of the breeds of the beef cattle among others <coughs> Briefly we can uh, summarize the differences between the beef cattle and the dairy cattle The difference, for instance, we can say that the beef cattle have a deep or fresh body, whereas these ones, their body is real. Next, in terms of the shape, these ones, they are broken in shape, whereas the beef cattle are triangular in shape. <coughs> among others. Therefore, that marks the end of our lesson today and during our next lesson we shall be looking at the dark purpose keto bridge. So we shall be looking at the dark purpose keto bridge. This is what we shall be looking during our next Yes, and thank you for being attentive during the rest of the